Welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Lord Kitchener's recruitment campaign. On the 5th of August, the day after Britain declared war on Germany, Field Marshal Lord Kitchener, a national hero of the Sudan and South African campaign, accepted the vacant post of Secretary of State for War. When war broke out in August 1914, Britain only had a small British expeditionary force of around 80,000 men. On the 7th of August 1914, three days after the declaration, Kitchener appealed for 100,000 volunteers aged between 19 and 30. On the 28th, Kitchener appealed for another 100,000 men and raised the age limit to 35. On the 3rd of September, 33,204 men signed up, which was the highest daily total of the whole war. Posters were vital in recruitment of volunteers into the armed services. Over 20 million recruitment pamphlets and leaflets had been printed by early April 1915, whilst 2.5 million copies of 90 different posters had been put up. Survey showed that few read the pamphlets and leaflets, preferring to find information in their national or local newspaper. However, there was no doubt as to the impact of the poster campaign. The most iconic and successful of all the posters was the one that featured Lord Kitchener's face and upper body. It was designed by Alfred Leet. It was distinctive with his military hat and thick black handlebar moustache. He glared sternly across the land. With his right hand index finger pointed out accusingly to able-bodied men, he scarcely needed to command, I want you. Young men claimed the poster haunted them and they could not get away from Kitchener's finger. This poster did not appear in public until the end of September 1914, by which time a voluntary enlistment had already passed its peak. The new army, as it was officially called, was the second biggest volunteer army the world had ever seen. It drew in almost 2.5 million men from August 1914 until conscription in March 1916. It was the Indian Army in the Second World War which had more volunteers. The driving force behind this new army was Field Marshal Kitchener, the Secretary of State for War. He knew that war would not be over by Christmas 1914 and it would be vital to raise and train a large force of men to quickly support the regular army. To aid recruitment, stations were set up at town halls across cities and pals could join together in battalions. Lion store for Kitchener's army. Life in the trenches for one. Possible trench foot, rats, cold bully beef seeing your friends die? Was it everything they signed up for? I don't think it would be. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me at Twitter or at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tanya 38.